Welcome to another episode of Project Hunter. In the first episode of Project Hunter, you saw me make some projects that use quite a bit of pegs, like uh, cribbage, my baseball game. Well, I thought, why not make my own pegs? In this video, here's how I did it. Okay, what I did is I opened up a spire and set up a project that was three and a half inches by three and a half inches because that's what I'm using a scrap piece of three by five that I got and you can see me here entering a circle that's one eighth inch and I placed it down in the lower left hand corner and now I'm placing a 0.2 inch which will be the part you grab onto of the peg and I'm making that and so what I do is I'm going to move it to its own layer and that one's going to be called tops and now I can select the other one which is the peg and right click on it and move to layer and let's call this one pegs okay so now that we have that we have everything we need to get started but let's fill in the rest of the area here with uh, more pegs so what I'm going to do is highlight everything I'm going to go over to the array copy and it looks like it's already set up for eight by eight so I'm going to keep that and I'm putting a quarter inch between all the sides so that my bit can fit through it so that gap will come in handy so let's go ahead and copy that and see how it goes looks pretty good okay now that we've made all the copies let's uh, go ahead and center them on the uh, three by three and a half by three and a half inch square piece of wood here grab the center center it to the project there we go that looks pretty good all right so now we can go on to create the tool paths all right let's go ahead and preview the pegs that we created here and they look pretty good and you'll notice there's a little scrap piece in between but I don't think we need to worry about that because it's so small so what we're going to do now is go over and disable the peg view and put in the tops and let's highlight them all and we'll do a profile cut on those so let's go to the profile tool uh, we're going to start it at an inch and then go down a quarter of an inch and uh, keep all the settings the same outside okay let's uh, calculate that that looks like it's going to work pretty good let's run it and it looks like it came out perfect you can see the pegs and the peg tops looking good Okay, those pegs turned out really nice. And the first time I did this, I didn't know how to get them off very well without them flying all over the place, but I, I saw them on my band saw and they just fell out all over the place. So now I've come up with the idea of this where I'm hoping, I might have to take it out to do it because I can't see where the, well anyway, let's take it out.
So I came up with this where I plugged the pegs into this other piece of scrap. That way, when I saw them off, the uh, pegs will stay neatly in the uh, little peg holder I made. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and just for reference, I make the peg hole and the peg about 0 0.02, sorry, 0 0.002 difference. So that uh, if you, whether you make the peg slightly smaller or the hole slightly bigger, the pegs fit in better. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust the table saw fence to barely cut the tops off this. So this is the, the peg side. So let's see, right about there should do it. Let's try that. Lock it down. Lock it, here we go. Okay, you're gonna see the tops of the pegs falling off that I broke the pegs off earlier. Alright, you can see some of the ones I broke when I was trying to take it out of the thing, but that's pretty good and I could just take the little bit of sanding and the tops will be perfect. Okay, I sanded them off and you can see it turned out pretty good. There's only a couple that I might have to touch up, but that's a good way to keep them all in one spot if you don't I'm, and I'm going to take it out of my jig a little bit better next time so I don't break some. But 64 pegs out of just an inch and a quarter of 4x4. Four four. Yeah, I decided a while ago I was just going to leave those moments where I break something or forget something in the video so you understand that you don't give up, you just keep doing it till you get it right. And since then I've been able to do it several times perfectly and you can see here I got some of the pegs but uh, I do love that block that it goes into because it holds them it keeps them all the same length when you're cutting them off and uh, works pretty good also I'm thinking I can make some scrap pieces of those blocks that hold the pegs so you can spray paint the tops of the pegs for different colors and uh, things like that and I think that would work pretty good Oh, and I forgot to mention the other times, uh, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Project Hunter.